This work regards the fine element simulation of the load to failure of two plastic spur gears from a paper presented at the annual meeting of the Society of Plastics Engineers by Tycona and MSC Software. The simulation is performed with the Mark Fine Element program from MSC Software and the spur gears, geometry, material data, and test machines were provided by Tycona. The primary function of these spur gears is to transmit energy and rotational motion from one gear to another. The design for the kinematics of the gear set is geometrically controlled as if it were a rigid body. However, for real materials, the choice of materials becomes critical in the design. Two spur gears were selected as test specimens. The geometry of the gear teeth were based upon standards from the American Gear Manufacturers Association. A parallel axis testing machine developed by Tycona was used to load and record the load displacement response of the gears. The test gears were lubricated with oil prior to loading to eliminate any shear forces acting on the tooth flanks. A schematic of the test is shown here. The torque was measured on the stationary side and the load was applied on the motor side. The two High precision encoders were used that measure approximately 60,000 counts per revolution. The rate of loading was set for the time encoder at a rate of about 2,000 radians per minute. The model shown here has a web thickness of the gear rim of about a quarter of an inch. The material stress strain diagram is shown here, and the maximum strength is around 8.5. KSI. As the results were run, the torque versus displacement is recorded and shown here and repeated for five different tests of which one was selected to be compared to the analysis. The full gear is modeled instead of a sector to capture the correct torsional stiffness of the gear as the top gear rotates into the stationary bottom gear. One method of generating failure was to separate elements <clears throat> along prescribed lines. Another method was used that deactivate elements, both of which require the tensile stress to reach this 8.5 limit. Here we see the uh, action taking place. Here's the uh, separation of the elements and we'll see in a moment the deactivation of the elements. Comparing these results with those measured we find a variety of uh, undershoots and overshoots. The yellow line represents the uh, actual experimental data whereas all the other colors represent the simulation. The prediction of the mechanical behavior of this gear set is very complex. The rigid design does not account for the gear flexibility. To optimize the gear set, a nonlinear analysis is required, and only under very low loads can a linear analysis be suitable.